Welcome to Touch Technology Review. In this very quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to lay a video to create a picture-in-picture -picture type of video or split screen using iMovie for iOS. Before we get on with this tutorial, just a quick explanation of what picture-in-picture -picture is and why you might want to use it. Putting it simply, picture-in-picture -picture allows you to overlay your main video on the timeline with a smaller video that sits inside a box and it can be positioned anywhere on the screen, top left, bottom right, etc. This has become a very popular style of video edit for YouTubers, gamers, and so on, wanting to provide face-to-camera commentary over their main video footage. Now, there are quite a few options in iMovie for overlaying video, so keep watching and I'll take you through each one of them one by one. Also, a quick note, if you are new to iMovie and want to learn the basics of using the app right from the beginning, including how to import media, cut clips, apply effects, and add audio, I'll leave a link to my preliminary tutorial video on how to use iMovie on your iPhone in the comments box below. But for now, let's jump right into the topic at hand and create our first picture-in-picture -picture and split-screen video. Okay, so in order to get started, we're going to go into the Projects tab of iMovie and tap on the plus icon and select the Movie option. I'm gonna go ahead and select some media for the project. So I'll go into my Video tab and select a couple of clips that I'm going to use in the project. So to select the clips that you wanna use, simply tap on the clip and then select the tick icon. Once you've done so, select the create movie option just below and iMovie will create the project for you. So the clips that I have selected now appear on the main timeline on a single layer. Now in order to add a layered clip into iMovie, we can now tap on the plus icon on the left hand side of the screen and this allows us to add an additional video clip on top of the previous clip. So I'm going to select the face to camera video that you're seeing right now in this video recording. I'm gonna tap on it, but rather than selecting the plus icon to add it to the project instantly, I'm going to select one of the sub menu options which appears just below. And for picture in picture, it's represented by the icon that has a small square within a large square. So we can tap on that. And as you'll see, it will load the video on top of the main video on the timeline as a layer above it. And it's positioned the picture in picture video to the top left of the screen. But what about if you wanna move that picture in picture video to another area of the screen? In order to do that, simply tap on the thumbnail of your picture-in-picture -picture video and iMovie will take it into edit mode and provide you with two sub-menu options for editing that video clip. You'll see a drag icon and a zoom icon appear on the top right-hand corner of the video screen. We're gonna start with the drag icon and once we tap it, you'll see that we can move the picture-in-picture -picture video anywhere we choose on the screen. So I'm going to move it to the bottom right-hand corner. And then I'm gonna tap on the zoom icon, and this allows you to pinch and expand and contract the size of the video within the picture-in-picture -picture frame. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit to make it a little bit closer. And that's pretty much it. Now, if I select play, you'll see that we have both the main video playing and the picture in picture playing just above it. So as I mentioned earlier, there are some other options available to you when you're overlaying video, one of which is cutaway. Now this adds the clip so that during the playback, the movie cuts away from the main clip in the timeline and shows the cutaway clip instead. You might be wondering why this is even there. Well, essentially it's a time-saving feature. When you wanna add a video clip without having to cut into the existing one, this will place it above the existing video 
and save you from having to perform multiple edits. So quite a good time saving feature. There's also the ability to add a clips audio and not the video. So you might wanna superimpose an audio track to your existing video clip. So you can do this by using the audio waveform and plus icon, simply tap on this, add your video to the timeline and only the audio of that video clip will be added to the timeline. And the final one I wanted to look at is split screen. Now this adds the clip so that during playback, the clip appears next to the main clip in the timeline. This can be either side by side or top to bottom. So you can actually position it to the left or right, top or bottom by tapping on that video you've just added again on the timeline. Once you tap it, you go into edit mode. Then you can use your finger to tap the position on the screen that you want it to appear in, be on the left-hand side, the right-hand side, top or bottom. And that pretty much wraps up all the options for overlaying video in iMovie for iOS. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel to be notified of up and coming video releases. See you on the next one, bye for now.